Okay. Now I'm recording the sound. Looks like. All right. Good thing I checked. Okay. Uh, now, where did we leave off last time? Um, I think we we did uh, those questions there. So for the following exercise, find the amplitude period and the phase shift with the direction okay so um 167 i can re i can write that as y well actually there's nothing to write sine x minus pi over four so first we want to find the amplitude so the amplitude is one the coefficient on the sine is one the period, so the period, that is your standard 2 pi. And then the phase is the pi over 4 to the right. Now, let's see if, if that's how they express the answer. 1, 2 pi, and pi over 4 units to the right. Correct. Super duper. 168. Y equals three cos two bracket two take the two out bracket x minus three over two. Uh, sorry, it's a plus. So the amplitude is three. The period is two pi over two. And the phase is three over two left. Okay. 169. Y equals minus a half sine quarter X. Amplitude is a half. The period is 2 pi over a quarter, so that's 8 pi. And the phase is none. 170. Y equals 2 cos x minus pi over 3. The amplitude is 2. Period is 2 pi, and the phase is pi over 3 right. Okay, 171. Um, y equals minus 3 sine, take out the pi bracket x plus 2 over pi close bracket amplitude is 3 the period is 2 pi over pi which is 2 and the phase is 2 over pi left let's check that one 171 correct fantastic okay 172 y equals 4 cos 2x, uh, I'll take the 2 out again, 4 cos 2x minus pi over 4, amplitude is 4, the period is 2 pi over 2, and the phase is pi over 4, right. Um, yeah okay so that's that batch done um now on to the technology questions Let's see yeah do a couple all right so let's um close this down keep the paper I'm going to try and do some 
software questions. So got sound by the way. We do. Okay. Right, the first one here, the diameter of a wheel rolling on the ground is 40 inches. So that means the radius equals uh, 20. The diameter is 40. The wheel rotates through an angle of about 20. So I have to convert the angle out of scholar. Can I actually put a Greek letter? Yes, I can. Theta equals uh, 120 degrees times now how do I get a pi in this software I think it's percent p over 180 and the arc length equals or times theta oh and this I should write on the top I've not, not been into that habit of doing this um, um, question 173. Okay. So I don't know if I need the define symbols. Let's just see. Mm, that's not quite right for pi. Maybe it's pi. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then I should print the L perhaps. I do need to define symbols then. Oh, okay, no, not with that then. Okay. That's weird. I think, yeah, okay, so I think what I'll have to do is make this a function ah. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do it and then <laughs> yeah okay this is not as friendly to use as derive because when I try to define this, it's very unhappy about that. Argument cannot be an atom or a subscript memorizing function found theta. Hmm. Okay. What I'll do is I won't assign them letters. And instead, instead of saying R and theta, I'd say output 20, uh, output 1, and then output 2. And then I want this as a decimal. So rounded off, I suppose, 42, 42 inches then. Is that right? Question 173, 42 inches is correct. Okay, let's have a look now at 174. Seventy-four. Okay. Find the length of the arc intercepted by central angle theta in a circle of radius r round to the nearest hundred. Ah. So because it's been repeated, I think I will make a function. So the arc length function requires the r and theta to be specified, so r and theta, 
and we'll call this um, function arc radians. And that's just simply defined as r times theta. But then if the angle is given in degrees, changes a little bit, still r times theta, but then the theta has to be converted to radians, which is pi over 180. This might be a nice way of doing it. So the first one is arc radian. You know what, actually, let's check the last question. Um, let's see if we've got the same answer. Arc degree 20 and 120. Yeah, that's an, okay. So I like this. I like this idea I've just had of making these two functions then. Okay, so the first one is arc radian and it's 12.8 and 5 pi over 6. Uh, oh, forgot my multiply probably. So, oh, that's funny. That's no, that's uh, get rid of that. Okay. So the first one, mm, I wanted numeric, and then to the nearest hundred. So that would be thirty three point five one zero, isn't it? Round to the nearest hundred. Okay, then B, arc, and uh, it's again radians, 4.378, and then 7 pi over 6. And then let's convert this to numeric as well. And so that answer would be 16.046. Okay. B now, arc degree, 0 0.964 and 50. Okay. To numeric. So that one there would be 0 0.841. Okay, and then the last one is our degree again, 8.55 and then 325. Okay. Okay, and then that one would be, 48.498. Okay. Maybe that would be a good place to leave it there um, because 182, we're going to be at 175. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. That leaves eight technology questions to do. They're not too bad, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think we should wrap it up there for this evening. And uh, yeah, finish the technology questions then later. So uh, tomorrow, I mean, so that takes that would take care of exercise one point three already. So we nearly have three exercises complete, um, which is not bad because. That will be 182 questions so far. I think we're doing pretty good. I think everything's okay here, but if there's any problems, just let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll leave it there for today.